Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has condemned an incident in which the US consulate in Sydney was attacked with a sledgehammer and defaced with pro-Palestinian graffiti. Albanese said on Monday that protesters should turn the heat down and that such acts were not the Australian way. The Middle East conflict is a difficult issue. It is complex. It certainly needs some nuance and isn't a matter of just sloganeering, Albanese said at a news conference in Canberra. New South Wales Premier Chris Minns described the incident as reprehensible. He expressed his concerns, saying it's an indication of a kind of coarsening of the public debate that no one needs in Australia. Minns further emphasised, this kind of behaviour will be investigated and punished by NSW police. Police revealed that security camera footage captured a hooded figure with his or her face obscured, smashing windows at the consulate at about 3am on Monday. Additionally, the consulate's coat of arms was defaced, spray-painted over with two red inverted triangles, symbols used by some protesters to symbolise Palestinian resistance. The consulate was previously vandalised with the words Free Gaza in April, while the US consulate in Melbourne experienced a similar incident last month. Australia, a close ally of Israel, has been increasingly critical of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's handling of the war in Gaza in recent months. In April, Albanese condemned Israel's explanation for the killing of Australian woman Zomi Francom and six other aid workers in an airstrike in central Gaza as not good enough. <laughs>